seen a lot of zone defense here in recent weeks. You guys really handled it well against Portland. What do you feel like was the key to, to playing well against it? Uh, just playing with pace, uh, moving the ball, finding guys, taking our shots, just making it difficult on the other team. How fun was it to see uh, Trey get hot like that? It's amazing. Um, you know, it's my first time seeing it, so in person it's, it's wild, but... Uh, honestly, every time he touched the ball and shot it, I felt like it was going in. So I know that's a good feeling. What do you think that you, you've seen more teams go to zone? So, I mean, since you were a rookie, like, does that from then to now? Like, why do you think support teams start to, to throw that at uh, I think it can protect some guys who are in foul trouble, maybe uh, save some matchups, make it a little easier on people. Um, and, you know, if you have a short bench, go on zone, keep guys from running as much. Uh, or just, you know, if a team's not a great shooting team, it can, it can help, you know, with the drives and paint. So it's a lot of different reasons. It seems like one of your former teams plays more zone than anybody with Miami. I mean, did it help you to kind of get familiar with both playing it and playing against it? With yeah, for sure. Um, we play, we, my, when I was there, we started playing zone quite a bit, and uh, they still do that. But, yeah, seeing the 2-3, seeing the matchup, the 3-2, um, you know, I've done it. I've seen it. So... I feel like, you know, once they go to it, I can kind of help guys on our team with it. Is that the kind of thing where a lot of teams are, um, because it hasn't been a big part of the NBA for most teams, like, it's the kind of thing where you kind of get just, the, the more you play against it, the more you get kind of acclimated to it? Yeah, because, you know, it's out of the league for so long, you know, I don't know if it was because the coach didn't want it, it was a pride thing, or I don't know, but it's coming back and, you know, we're going to have to adapt. Talking to Willie a little bit just about, the rise in scoring like these last five years or so and you know he said there's a lot more shooting and skill on the floor but also you just can't defend like you used to be able to is that something you've seen where you're just not able to be as physical on defense uh yeah for sure um you know, they're a lot caught a lot closer on a lot of things um, a lot of hand checks a lot of little ticky tack stuff but that's what comes with it you know they try to keep the flow of the game going well kind of take from the flow of the game in that case but you know people like scoring people like points so you know, it is what it is. You seem like you get a lot of steals just from, have, from good, having good hands. I mean, is that something that you've improved, like, as your career's gone along as far as just being able to get steals without making contact? And like, uh, I mean, I always kind of have fast hands um, from football to basketball to whatever else, fighting. <laughs> nah, just, just <laughs> anything, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've just always been good with my hands, getting steals, and, and just being smart, being cerebral, kind of using my instinct. Defensively, what's it going to take tonight to slow down the Lakers, especially what they're able to do inside with Anthony? You know, the Lakers have been playing good basketball lately. And, uh, you know, D'Lo leading the charge. You know, Beasley shooting well. Vanderbilt's doing, you know, everything for them. Anthony Davis is one of the best players in the league. So we're definitely going to have to make it tough on them, send bodies at them, and, uh, you know, make them earn every point. Josh, you, you have a lot of experience. You've played for a lot of great coaches, from Spo to Pop. How do you evaluate these final 14 games in terms of playoff like, must win? How would you phrase it? Uh, you know, must win is a tough phrase because it just puts a lot of, you know, pressure on guys and they start overthinking it. But we know, you know, going down a stretch, every game counts. And so uh, it's a lot of teams bunched up right now in the West and we're right there in the middle of it. So it's a blessing to be up there. But you know, hopefully we, we bring our hard hats every night and uh, come out, you know, in a good spot. Trey was talking about the other day how he doesn't even try to monitor the standings every day because it feel, it, make, it can kind of make you go crazy. I mean, what's your approach to how you, like, follow where you guys are in the standings? I look sometimes, but like you said, I just try to win every game, honestly. Try to play my game, do the best I can for our team, and – keep vibes positive and hopefully at the, on the back end we come out where we want to be at. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.